Okay, everybody. I got the little power unit in. As you can tell, all my wires are hooked up. I replaced the power wires because they was flimsy. This is, this is a solid core that was braided wire. So, I wanted to be a little bit more sturdier, carry the power right. You no know, shorts blinking and all that stuff. As you can tell, I got it clipped to alligator clips to my little plug let me wrap it up here so you see there's no tricks you see that right here now I'm going to plug it in see there's no light um, as you see I'm get ready to plug this in have light this one's really hot I like that color though unplug plug in I'm gonna put a little on and off switch on there it'll be more convenient fires it right up you can see it going firing down in the middle of the tube see that you'll see it right here very little heat see that very good huh on that little supply right there change the old supply out put the newer updated in and there you have it there's an update I'll come back with another one with LEDs and all that good stuff peace out alright I'm back everybody let you just want to give you an update to let you know that I got this hooked up but I'm not all the way done just want to show you a little something a little update okay this right here is my power supply for the CFL which is the cold fluorescent or hot fluorescent light and this right here is my power supply this is the hot so all my pluses will go here all my grounds will go over here safeguard I got hot glue underneath there I'm gonna hot glue over the top every, every time after I get all my connections hot glue over that after I get all my connections there this right here is a nice little transformer it drops it from the regular 120 let me see if I can get that in there for you. There's the readings. I got that out of a old, let me see, powered amplifier that goes in your home. You know, it's a powered sub. So it drops it down to 9 volts, actually 10.57. This is what I'm going to use to run my LEDs. There's one side of it hooked from the primary side hooked to the ground. And another primary side hooked right here to my switch. Okay. Nice. Works pretty good. Instant come on. No waiting. No no waiting for the light to come on with this thing. It's old. It's the Floatron. These are old and outdated. They're basically obsolete anymore. The starters. I don't like them. So that's why I took it out and updated this light. Put this in. This right here is going to be running my LEDs, like I said. And on the hot, on one side, all I do is just hook a 
a resistor up on the ground, put the resistor up, and the LEDs are on and popping. If you guys want to see me do it, I'll show you one LED, which I believe this is a 550 ohm resistor. Yeah, 550. I have 750s and 550s. I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet. I might go up to a kilo ohm. I tried 76 kilo ohms, and it did not come on at all. So, okay, I see I'm doing this with my own. So, here's the wires coming off the transformer. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Right there, you see it's on. Now, I'll hook the resistor to the LED. Did it come on? So nice, ain't it? That's from that little transformer. Beautiful. So you see it works. Like I said, it's from this transformer right here. Knocks it down to 9 volts. It knocks it down to 10.57. It's supposed to be 9 volts. It's 10.57. So there's your little update right there. The next update will be all the LEDs on. And it will be finished. Peace out.